University of Maine Cooperative Extension helps farmers and food producers bring you the local foods you love. These are the stories of the families who are growing Maine. The macaron is French, and so that's like the uh, meringue and buttercream, and then the macaroon is American, and that's coconut and chocolate. So the first thing I have to do is put out my eggs because I need room temperature egg bites, and then I'll mix together in a food processor my confectioner's sugar and almond flour, and then once that's done, I'll usually crack, it, crack my eggs and separate them, and so it's two egg whites. And then I will whip those until they're frothy and then add in my sugar. And then that makes um, the meringue. And then once that's done, I'll add in the confection sugar and make the macronage. Uh, so macronage is when I've mixed the egg whites and the sugar together already. So you have the meringue and then I mix in almond flour and confectioner sugar. And then I just fold it until it starts flowing like lava. And then I'll pipe that out onto uh, silicone mats, they'll sit out with a fan so that you get a little shell on them and then they'll go into the oven and usually while they're in the oven I will make buttercream so that once they've come out and cooled then I can put the buttercream and put them together. I have a little weather machine and it tells me the temperature and the humidity inside the house. 570 is the highest that I'll go. If it's too humid then I, I can't make them. My favorite part would be probably putting them together because that's when I know I'm like finishing a batch. I sold at a coffee shop and then I started recently, like most recently, I'm selling at Ingrid's and I have done some like posting them online on Facebook and on a website and people have ordered them from there. People can email me too. Now, I'm selling at Ingrid's was a big step because I had never you know, set up my own shop before. I'm just looking at getting regular customers. Seeing that, that's really nice to see because that shows that, um, you know, that people are really interested in what I'm selling. I had um, Matthias Savings Bank order 800. That's the biggest, that was a lot. Yeah, I did two, two, two in a little uh, box and then so they were given as like gifts. I had to make 200 all in one day after school because it was going to rain. So my mom went to a workshop at the university and they were talking about um, you know, selling food and the different cert certifications that you have to have. So I go up to the food department at UMaine and they test where the buttercream meets the shell and so it has to be underneath a 0.85 water level uh, because it's, if it's above that, then bacteria and mold and, and yeast can grow. Today I sub submitted a research abstract for the Maine State Science Fair involving use of alternative sugars in making macarons. I'm always looking for ways to improve. So I don't know ex exactly what direction my career will go in, however I do know that it will always involve baking high-end bakery items. <laughs>